All right, so this is a little confusing for me to film just because at the time of me filming this video, I haven't actually dropped the NoFap 7 day update video yet, which is a big part of the reason why I'm actually making this video. What I'm realizing now is if I had simply posted that video sooner, I wouldn't be making this video right here. Nevertheless, man, you guys know that I really, really value and advocate for transparency and authenticity. I'm not here to sell you guys an image or anything like that. I'm just here to document my journey. And with my journey, just like any other journey, there are ups and downs, twists and turns, ebbs and flows. And I mean, I'm just beating around the bush at this point. You guys read the title, man. I relapsed on NoFap. So let me just give you guys a little time frame. So I filmed that last video about five days ago, and I continued on NoFap for maybe two days after that. So I made it probably nine days, give or take. It's just a rough estimation. I honestly don't know. Since then, I have relapsed three times, three times on three consecutive days. Not three times each day, but three times overall. So once each day, three days in a row. And something that I've realized, man, and I know this is just kind of me echoing sentiments from previous videos, but it's very, very important that I reiterate this for anybody who's on this journey. You have to find your why. If you don't have a strong enough why, then you're not going to make it very far on this journey. You're not going to be able to implement not just this practice, but any other self-development practice because you have no real reason for it, right? And no matter how emotional or impulsive you are, I do believe that we all have that reasoning facility within us. And with that being said, you have to have something, some sort of, at least to you, tangible and realistic goal that outweighs the instant gratification of PMO. And for me, what I've realized is that a lot of my relapses in recent history have been from a lack of that, a lack of that definite aim in life. Now, one thing that I'm realizing, and I think I actually made a video pretty recently talking about how I was lacking direction in life. Something that I've realized is the reason why I lack direction is because my path is taking me to uncharted territories. I'm going down a path that I have never seen before. Therefore, I don't know what to expect. I don't. How can I know what to expect if I've never seen anybody walk down this exact path before? I've seen different variations of this path, but I'm on my own unique path now. I'm in my own lane. Therefore, nobody can tell me what awaits me other than my own intuition. And I think that that right there that uncertainty is something that I'm still struggling to come to terms with. Because from a spiritual perspective, what I understand at a deep innate level is that uncertainty is unlimited potential in disguise, right? If you have uncertainty about your future, that means that you have no limitations in both the positive and negative respects. With that being said, to the ego, uncertainty presents itself as a lack of purpose for your existence. And this is what leads to things like depression. It's what leads to anxiety, any thing that doesn't allow you to be who you need to be to progress down your path. And this is why a lot of people end up becoming followers in their lives is because when you follow somebody else, you have some semblance of certainty and you also have that sense of community. But what I've learned in my life is that that's not for me. And I know it seems like I'm going on a tangent here, but just stay with me here. I'm going to tie it all together. But basically, man, when you choose to embrace this path of uncertainty, you have to understand that to my point earlier, there will be ups and downs, twists and turns, ebbs and flows. And in some cases that involves you breaking promises that you've made to yourself time and time again and having to have those same conversations with yourself over and over and over until you get to the root cause. Now, like I said, me relapsing on NoFap, I could sit here and make a laundry list of excuses as to why I've relapsed, but ultimately it's because I don't have something that's more important to me than PMO. Now, one thing that I will say is that I feel like working out or my, making progress in the gym, that's something that 
can definitely be a motivating factor because the workouts that I've had in the past couple of days have definitely not been as potent or as intense as the workouts that I had when I was on that nofap streak. And I think I even mentioned that in my nofap seven day benefits video or seven day update video, whatever you want to call it. So that's something that I'm going to have to remember anytime I get that temptation again. I know some of you are probably wondering how I even relapse when I'm living in a car. But if you guys haven't been watching my car tour videos or just videos pertaining to stealth camping and whatnot, I can make it such that I'm completely invisible in this car. Completely invisible. I'm talking about I'll be cozier in this car than I ever was at my old apartment or at my parents' house or anywhere else. So bearing that in mind, man, what I've realized is that layer of security is not really as strong as I thought it was. But on the flip side, like I said, I now have some semblance of a why that isn't attached to a shallow materialistic goal. Because for a long time, the reason why I was able to get so far in NoFap, and I know this might sound, like I said, shallow and materialistic, but this is just the truth of the matter. The reason why I was able to get so far in NoFap is because my income directly correlated with my NoFap streak. So what I realized was that, wait a minute, my NoFap update videos are my most profitable videos. They're very easy to make. So I'm going to stay on NoFap so that I can continue to make these videos because one thing that I will not do, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. One thing that I will not do is I will not make NoFap update videos if I'm not actually on NoFap. So I'm not gonna pop out with a NoFap 14 day benefits video if I'm only on three days. I'm just not gonna do that. But what I will do is I will document my journey with the ups and the downs, the update videos where I'm seven days in, the relapse videos like this one, and I'll document that journey, not just for myself, but for you guys. And I'm not making this video to enable you guys to relapse. That's definitely not my intention. But basically, man, this video is not just about nofap in and of itself. It's about doing that soul searching, figuring out what you value in this life. That's, to me, in my opinion, the single greatest benefit of nofap and or semen retention is it forces you, it forces you to determine what your values are in this life. That doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice that unlimited potential that I was talking about earlier and hone in on these specific goals and limit yourself in that way. Because for some of us, really, I say a lot of us who are watching this video or anybody who's on this journey, I feel like we are on a path where we are not just leaders, but we're expanding into uncharted territory. We're moving into uncertainty and that's a part of our journeys. But with that comes the lack of that definite purpose that your ego oftentimes needs to have the discipline and the mental fortitude to get through those moments of lust and temptation. So what I would recommend for you guys is for one, find a short term goal or something that is maybe not so predicated on spirituality or divinity, right? I feel like working out, that's something that is purely a physical practice. And because of that, you can rationally weigh the pros and the cons of relapsing every time that temptation hits you. And for me, like I said, just not being able to lift the way that I want to lift or being able to work out with the level of intensity that I'd like to work out with, that in and of itself is more than enough for me to stay disciplined on this journey. But not only that, I feel like it's all about holding yourself accountable with the understanding that other people are looking up to you. You may not know it. You may not have a YouTube channel with damn near 150,000 subscribers. But everybody in this world is impacting everyone else in some way, shape, or form. Because we are all energy. It's all collective consciousness. So by you putting out this negative energy, this energy of self-hatred, self-deprecation, because you're not willing to take action that aligns with your highest version, you are essentially polluting collective consciousness in doing so. 
And I'm not saying that to make you feel guilty. That's the furthest from my intentions, but I do want to make you aware of this. It's bigger than you. It's not just about you. When I relapse on OFAP, it's not just about me. I do not want to make another video like this. I'm tired of making videos talking about I relapsed on NoFap. I can sit here and justify it all I want. Ultimately, I don't want to make another video like this. And I don't intend to.